How gorgeous is that grain structure? Hey everybody, Brandy here with a Reason Up Homestead. And look at our beautiful Kentucky day. It's been so cold at night, but it has been gorgeous during the day. And I think it got up to maybe 50 today. It's been quite nice. But I wanted to show you what I'm working on because we're always working on something around here. So I don't know if you guys remember, the inside of our house, every wall had um, one by six, two by six. No, I think these are one by six. I don't know. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And it was kind of like shiplap. Even though it wasn't shiplap, it was beautiful wood. And so we went out, bought a little tool. That's my planer. And I've been having some fun with it. So let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here are what the boards look like when we peeled them off. They still have the wallpaper on them. That comes off pretty easy. But it's like cardboard, really. Like really thin, like probably came in sheets. And then this beautiful, I am pretty sure that's hand painted um, wallpaper. I'm trying to save some of this because I want to use it in something. Then, I have tried everything in the past in other homes to get it off. And the best solution is just good old water. So I've been filling my weed burner, or not my weed burner, my weed sprayer up with water. And then I just come over here and I'm out of water, but you get the point. Spray it down and I soak it so that it gets wet like that. Because I'll show you on this board that I'm working on, ignore the mess underneath, it then just comes right off. So it's a little trick if you are restoring an old house to try and get this stuff off is to just use water. Now, after I'm done with this, it's going to look like this. Well, not this one. Uh, I'm going through and making sure there are no nails in it. Like, here's a nail I need to get out real quick. And then I put it in the planer. These are little wallpaper tacks, and they are all over. Let's run this through the planer and let me show you how beautiful it turns out. Here's how you raise and lower. And I'm gonna raise this just a little bit until this kind of slides through. And that's probably actually too loose, so I'm just gonna come down, let's go three quarters of a turn. Yeah, and that's good. So, here's the before. Let's see what it looks like after. Okay. So, it stopped rolling it in. And I was like, what the heck? That's so weird. It's not even tight enough. I missed the nail. And thank God it got stuck here instead of going inside because that would have ruined my blades and I would have had to get another pair to, before I continue because I'm an idiot and already ran some through that had staples in them. Here's a lesson that I learned the hard way. It's really important to make sure that there are no nails, no staples, nothing. Really inspect the wood that you're about to plane because even like a staple will gouge those blades and then it will cut grooves into your wood. Now, luckily, my Craftsman planer, the blades are reversible. So I was able to just unscrew them, flip them, and we're good. Now, if I do this again and I get another nail or staple, I'm going to have to go to the store and get some new blades for my planer. But this thing is being abused, and I have no qualms with it yet. I highly recommend this Craftsman planer. Okay, let's do a take two. I double checked, and there are no more nails left in it.
Now this piece is really interesting because it has all this termite damage in it and I might run it through once or twice more to see if it either clears up but I kind of like the termite look. But like here is a piece of poplar maybe. That's just beautiful. All this wood is turning out gorgeous. Here's another piece I just did. I mean, look at that grain. So our plan with this is to use it as hardwood floors inside the house. So I think we're gonna glue them down, nail them in, and then maybe do a resin float on top or some kind of sealant. But I really want all the character of the nail holes, and the knots, and the grain structures. And it's just going to look so pretty inside. And I'm hoping that I have enough from our house. But we luckily have um, a friend who's tearing down another old house. And I know it has one by six in it. So we're going to steal some of that. Who knows? It's going to be so beautiful. Because I think we have poplar, oak, maple, maybe cedar. I don't, I don't know. And I know we have some fur in here too. So we're going to have all kinds of native wood for our floor in the house. It's going to be so pretty. So stay tuned in six months maybe when we finish that project um, so we can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so we took all the shavings from today and we're going to give them to the quails because they're obsessed with these shavings. Let me show you. Okay, okay spread them out. Two big handfuls, so it doesn't take us all day. It's big. Yeah. Oh, but how about you just put them in a pile on the ground, because you are getting more on yourself than you are on the ground. There you go. I'm right there. Hmm. You want guys to put them right here? Like she's over there enjoying that little pile. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Oh, let's come back to this pile. Okay. You could put some under the their little nesting area. They probably really like it in there. Okay. Yeah, see, they love it. I'm really love it. I'm really really love it. Thank you for watching this. And have a great day and catch you next time.